the hole it goes in. You see what I'm saying? Are they supposed to be straight? <laughs> Are they supposed to be straight? Well, they go down? into little, they each have their own little hole that they go Okay, in. well that one's in it, but this one, let's see. So she's trying to get the front end attached <clears> to this <throat> thing. I think it's in there, but it's not straight. See, they're, they're like crooked. Well, they won't go straight. They have an angle to them. Yeah, that's what I was asking. How do you like this so far? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Hey guys, here we are. She has officially started working on this uh, truck Whatever and this don't let it come apart. And uh, she, she said, let's go out there and work on it today. So here it is and she started working on it. Got all the parts cut off the other day after we did the first part of the video and cleaned them up. And now we're just trying to get it to go together. And I like to have certain ways I do my own things and uh trying to i guess just do it that way and try to show her because my way is the best way um just ask me i'll tell you it is and uh, anyway it's going good so she's figured out that how the glue works and all this stuff and we're gonna get some paint on here but i'm not going to time lapse this thing or document every move we make but it's just going to be a progress here we are here we are here we are so this is, this is where we're at right now so uh she I don't get, have enough fingers she, to hold it all. <laughs> she says she needs more fingers. She's got plenty. She asked me, how does your fat nubs hold all that stuff together? Because <laughs> I don't, because I have disgusting fingernails and I don't have any um, fingernails. Hey. Those things just get in the way. Anyway, all right. So she's going to, we're going to keep working on it together and um, paint, get some paint or primer on some stuff. But we'll come back in a minute. Hold on. So she's putting the cylinder heads on now and I told her I said you got to get the two pieces you got to get those uh, the two heads glued on there so that way you can take your intake and kind of still move the heads a little as the glue's not <gasps> the glue's not uh, dry to line your intake up is that how you guys do it and I brought the uh, brought the uh, 55 panel out so we can get some reference off of it if we need it you don't have it's, it's you don't have to be precise okay. right now just get it glued on there where we can move them around okay and then this truck doesn't have the carburetors it's just got the fuel injection so it's a little different than the panel just like paint your fingernails just like painting your fingernails But she got the chassis parts put on. Got the axle, got the front um, suspension on. It's got a, it was a little cattywampus, so we clamped it on there. But she she actually did that. I didn't do it. <laughs> okay, so here's the parts. Oh, we got we got the bed. So on this truck, you're supposed to assemble the bed on the back of the chassis right there. But we were able to do it. Uh, and to keep the bed separate with the fenders mounted so we can paint that the body color We got the body and all the hood and everything's prepped ready for primer and the rest of the parts the chassis got it all together All the stuff's ready for primer. So that's what I'm, I'm, we're, we're about to turn her loose on the On the paint booth and see if we can pile some paint up But anyway, I think I'll set the camera up and we'll try to time lapse a little bit. So stand by say stand by Stand by <laughs> Alright, so hold back your left hand. Don't spray your uh your shirt. Alright, so about that far away.
There you go. She's just painted almost everything. I think we're gonna. She's talking about painting the chrome. So how do you like this? Uh, so I don't hardly customize anything, and she wants to change everything about it. She wants to paint the chrome uh, more of like a steel color. I don't like the shiny. She don't like the shiny. She don't even want the the aluminum valve covers. Or the anyway, so we're gonna have to primer the all the chrome and just paint it. Being very difficult, but anyway. <laughs> um, and she even we saw a picture of a 55 uh, or 56 actually, but it has that bead trim that goes in between the the fenders. And she's like, I want to put that in there, and I'm like, we said no. We have to do that on down the road when I get better <laughs> at it. Um, so now we got to put some primer on the body. It's all ready to go. So that I'm about to. Uh, help her with that. I'm going to shoot one of these at least and so she can see how I'm doing it. But anyway, all right, it's, it's going pretty good. She's, she's going to start her own YouTube channel. She said, uh, building model cars. It's going to be, uh, what'd you say the name was going to be? <laughs> oh my goodness. That was your idea. All right. Yeah. I think it would do well. I think, well, I won't go there, but anyway, all right. So, <laughs> all right hold on let's get some primer on the body hold on just a second i gotta i gotta okay so i just primed the rear um the body with what are we painting it with show us show you see the paint i got this from ollie's a while back duplicolor it's it's primer it's sealer primer um man it went on like glass looks great so um, I know this is something that is kind of a finish right before you paint, but hey, that's what we're doing. We're not going to do anything after this. Um, so I've got this Chevelle body here because I'm doing the 40 Ford build and I've got that Chevelle body. It's not going to hurt the Chevelle body, but I wanted her to practice on something first. So we're going to video her the <laughs> first time. Uh, not yet until I turn the vacuum on. i um, going to video her painting this, or at least priming this, this body. So stand by just one second and I'll get the vacuum on and we'll video this. She did a good job on the um, Chevelle here, but that paint lays down like nobody's business. It looks, this thing, I, it's ready to ready to paint. A little bit of touch-up sanding. It's it's still uh, hasn't cured. She just shot it, so I took it off the the mount. Now we've got the 55. Hold on, put this body back over here. Got the 55 on here, and uh, I'm gonna turn on the vacuum and it's going to be loud so I'll, I'll stick some music in here but I'm, I'm not going to time lapse this so you guys can see her um, <laughs> painting this all right hold on let me all right watch it let me turn this on all right here comes the music How do you like it? How's the finish? Is it shiny enough for you? Oh yeah. You like that? <laughs> you wanted it gray, didn't you? No. All right, so uh, get this color just light adjusted on this camera. All right, so I think she did good. 
that paint though I hope that didn't mess up by painting it with sealer but oh well man that stuff is so slick maybe that's my problem with my paint jobs my primer's just too too rough what did I set okay right here. all right we got that now we got to paint the hood and we got to paint the dashboard we're going to do the dashboard the same color as the uh oops sorry I'm trying to figure this stupid camera out we're gonna paint the dashboard and the hood. Obviously, the hood's gonna be the same color as the truck, but the dash is also gonna be the same color. So, I'm not gonna do that on camera. We'll go ahead and uh, uh, turn it off for a second, and I promise she'll paint it. Okay, hold on. All right, so we're gonna paint the engine now, and I tried to talk her into Ford engine blue because it's a Ford and it's an engine, uh, but she wants to be different, and she we're gonna paint it semi-gloss black. So. That's what color the engine's gonna be. Um, yeah, anyway, not the traditional. Uh, it's because, see, this is what it's supposed to look like right there. Focus, 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 man. Anyway, there it is. It's supposed to be blue, but she wants to go black. I've seen black, no, I've seen black. Um, for, Gee, focus, I feel like this would go with what I'm planning on doing with the car better. The the style of the car. Okay. I just feel like the blue is. Okay, paint paint semi gloss black. Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Semi gloss okay, black. Or the. <laughs> Good. Okay, we have a black engine. Stick it. Uh, no, put it right here. Put it right here. Alrighty then. Uh, it's gonna fall. No, it's not. It's good. It's gonna touch that other stick. Put it in the smaller. There's smaller oh, ones. Okay. okay. Oh. <clears throat> Alright, now. So, got the body painted, which looks darn good thank you it's very that primer is so smooth wow i wish i've been using that got the chassis painted we went with a uh, semi-gloss get this thing out of here so it'll focus semi-gloss chassis we're gonna do the flat black underside um <laughs> went ahead and painted the seats what color are you gonna to want to paint the seats? I think like a tan where it looks leather. So some some tan color on the seats and and this kit has these door panels. So I did my 55 and, and I, I mentioned that there's no there's no detail on the door panels really on the inside of the body. It's just <laughs> it's basically just the body or the I mean that that's it. It's just what comes with it. It's got some like stamped out door handles. But then with this kit, it's got these interior panels, and we're not 100% sure if we're going to use them or not, or if this camera would focus on that. <laughs> but anyway, so we're going to paint the seats that tan color. Um, dashboard's going to be body color. There's the dash. There's the bed. And there's the hood, and there's all the rest of the parts. So I think we're going to call this one... Um, I think we're going to call this one uh, part two. I oh, I keep staring at the screen. Okay. So, so, so this one is... Oh, wait, let me sit down. There, she's taller than me. So this is going to be part two of Heather's 1955 truck, Ford truck. And this is this is pretty neat. Um, thank you for doing this. This is really fun. I never thought I'd have my wife out here. <laughs> uh, I mean, really? I never thought Guys, I'd be out here. Would you? Okay. All right, so going to say part two is in the books and we will uh part three is going to be some color i don't know if we can do it tomorrow or not but anyway maybe we get some color she's oh by the way forgot to say it so i've got this mcw mcw thank you mark over at hobby nut models for providing this paint mcw uh wilmington white right here but we want a more creamy color not not so, oh she said it's supposed to be a surprise so i'm going to come up with some mixture 
to tone this white down which Wimbledon white is not real real super white anyway it's a little creamy as it is but we want more of a cream color so um, I'm gonna take some of my other colors and we're gonna mix some paint and make a cream color and um, possibly shoot the paint on there tomorrow Are we about to say something no oh anyway I'm a little nervous about that part. she's a little nervous about that part which the airbrush I told her the airbrush uh, is a little more forgiving than blasting it on there with a can of 2 uh Rust-Oleum paint because this stuff comes out so heavy with the airbrush, you know, it's it's a lot easier to paint. I don't find it hard at all to paint with an airbrush. Yeah, but I've never painted with an airbrush. Well, you will just pretty quick. All right, so now now we're uh close this video out and we'll have the paint we, we will include you on painting the the body so i don't generally on my videos i don't like build and we haven't really built or done anything like that i wouldn't consider my i don't know i spoke with lucas c about this i don't know if i'm an actual build channel or not because i don't tend to actually show myself building the car i just show myself updating here you sit in this one you sit in this one i'm, I'm trying to include her in this one i'm like way up on top all right so in my in my videos i usually just um i show you my progress and this is kind of what this is it's just progress except for showing her paint because um first time painting is pretty cool so um this video is done let me there okay i'll, I'll get this camera figured out in, in a month or two all right so um at the end of my videos heather do you know how what I always said in my videos. Um, I can't remember. It's not glue your fingers together or chop styrene. So she doesn't remember. She doesn't even watch my videos. I do, do you? sometimes. I do sometimes. It's uh, go subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, like and subscribe. Is that what you I, I tend to I say like sometimes, but I do say subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please go subscribe to my channel. Um, also, go to the Facebook group and. I will be posting this video as well as the others and maybe some pictures and stuff, update pictures on the Facebook group. So go over there and join our Facebook group. And don't forget to go to Hobby Nut Models where this particular model we're building came from and the paint. And, um, and I meant to say thank you for all the sweet comments. I read every one of them and thank you for the encouragement. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, I, I, we were, um, I was in my rehab chair. Um, this morning? No, it was yesterday. Yeah. But anyway, letting my arm move up and down and all this stuff, and and that and uh, we were talking, and she was looking at all those uh, uh, comments that you guys sent, and that was uh, that was great. Uh, I said, now you know you have to reply to all those. She says, I don't know how you could reply to all these. So please, but I did. I replied please, to every one of them. please overwhelm her with the comments. No. So, <laughs> it's kind of it's almost like a job sometimes. It's like, wow, I want to reply to all these comments, but it does it does tend to. Uh, overwhelm you if you're not careful but thank you for those those great comments guys that is uh, very encouraging and that's probably why she is back out here today doing it so uh i'm just finishing what i started finishing what she started all right so all right we're done go to hobby nut buy you a kit get some supplies uh i want to again thank mark for 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 sending me this kit so we could build it and um oh the teespring store um Thank you for you guys who have gone over to the Teespring store and, and bought t-shirts and stickers and things like that and cups and mugs and glasses and all those things. Uh, I, I'm so grateful for those and if you don't mind, go over there and buy another one. Or if you have a friend, tell them to go buy one too because it helps a lot to, for me to be able to continue to bring content. And that's all I got to say. So, you done? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Alright guys, we're done and we will see you on the next video. Bye. Bye.